Hi Aries, welcome in and thank you so much for joining. Be sure to only take messages that resonate and how they resonate for your situation. If you're cross watching for an Aries, the energies could be reversed. If the messages are not for you, check your other signs or check back next time. I do appreciate you guys hitting that like button. It does help support the channel. Okay. Okay, um, I'm getting this energy, Aries, right off the bat of like feeling like you've made progress and then suddenly taking 10 steps back or feeling like you've taken 10 steps back. And I feel the need to tell you that progress isn't always a straight shot and and what I mean by that is a lot of the times when it comes to us trying to achieve a goal that is typically what happens okay and there's a big message here of uh, you know learning from your mistakes and you know making something better than it ever could have been had you not made mistakes And I also feel the need to tell you that right now with the strength card, I feel like it's it's very important for you, especially this week, to be gentle with yourself. Don't mistake gentleness for weakness, okay? Let's see. What are the messages for Aries? So at the end of this reading, we're going to pull you two Oracle cards, Aries. Um, so at any time, if you would like to skip ahead to that, I will put the timestamps in the description box for you. Hold on one moment. Okay. So Aries, the, my intention for this reading today is to give you some nourishment for your soul. Okay. Those of you that have been interested in somebody wanting information on that person, you can find your reading on my channel. We have the Five of Swords, the Queen of Cups. So again, the Queen of Cups is all about being gentle. Okay, this is about kindness, but it might be incredibly hard to do that because the Five of Swords is right in front of her, male or female. Um, so conflict being right in front of her. There's a message here to not mistake gentleness for weakness. It's actually a very powerful ability to be gentle with people who mishandle you. And I'm not telling you to have people walk all over you. However, I am saying that approaching situations from a place of grace and unconditional understanding and love will get you a lot further Especially when it comes to winning a conflict, because when we partake in battles and conflicts, especially with the Five of Swords, this is like nobody wins because both leave, they both leave the battle exhausted. And the person that thinks they have won in the moment, what they don't realize is as soon as they start to walk away, they're going to realize they've lost something incredible. Okay. Um, so just something to take note of here.
Now the Queen of Cups, she is she is very gentle with herself as well. So I feel like, you know, that look at this, the high priestess, uh, water energy, guys. You could be connecting with the Pisces at this time. But this is all about you having a higher perspective than whoever you're in conflict with. I feel like um, you have a higher perspective here. I feel like you actually have a higher status or a higher stance. And that's something to take note of. And it's really empowering. And I feel like you'll realize that after you have gone through this battle, some of you have recently gone through some type of conflict or you, this is what's to come. And I feel like there's a sense of feeling extremely powerful in on higher ground when you take the high road from this conflict. Okay. Because the high priestess, this talks about empowerment. And I feel like there's power in grace and there's power in silence. There is a strong power that comes with silence. Especially when people come in and try to create conflict or chaos in our life and try to provoke us. You come out on top when you say nothing, when you do not react. And, you know, it's unrealistic to think that you, that's something that's going to be, <laughs> it's unrealistic. I'm not, I'm not telling you to be perfect all the time. However, I am getting you prepared for whatever is to come. And I feel like you're going to feel like you maintained your power. You maintained your stance by approaching a situation with kindness and silence, because that's how you hold your power. Whoever this conflict is that's coming towards you. Now, this second row here, we have the Queen of Wands, the Four of Cups, the Two of Cups. So this Queen of Wands is also your energy here. And when the Queen of Wands puts herself in situations where there is like socializing going on, you know, other people, uh, the Four of Cups is here. And this, in this particular deck, the Four of Cups, it says awareness on it. So I feel like being aware of your surrounding and preparing for surroundings and preparing yourself for things that could possibly go wrong will keep you 10 steps ahead of the game. And having this quiet knowing an awareness, almost like they're actually showing me a scene from the Karate Kid. I'm not sure if you've ever seen that, but excuse me, they're showing me a scene from the Karate Kid. Um, and it's almost like you're in this meditative energy that nobody may even know about, right? You see how her eyes are kind of like closed. And then we have this four of cups. So it's kind of like she, it, it's like she's aware of her surroundings, even though she can't physically see what's going on with her eyes because she has this intuition and this is you. And so it's knowing things that could potentially go wrong and feeling the vibe of the room will prepare you for any mishaps and prepare you for if something does go wrong, Two of Cups, you'll stay in alignment regardless of what comes in and tries to disturb your energy. So that's really what I'm feeling about this, Aries. Um, I do feel like there may be things that come in and try to disturb your energy. And this is all about you being balanced. And if you're in this state of this high level of awareness, there's nothing that can take you out. Um, and again, it's unrealistic to believe that you can forever be in this energy because we are human 
So do not be hard on yourself if you step out of alignment because that's also something that you should come to terms with for yourself as well. So you're not so hard on yourself in the future for when that happens. But this is about being gentle with yourself, being kind with yourself, okay? Um, okay. Knight of Cups. This is about handling situations with grace. Okay, and poise. Wow. This is also about being gentle. I just feel like that is what your main reading is about, Aries, is how to be gentle with yourself and gentle with situations that come in to try to disturb your peace. And that you will feel a sense of empowerment from that. If you want to know how to, how to be in your power, if you want to know how to step into your power or stay in your power this week, it all stems down from being gentle, being kind, and keeping your composure, and approaching situations with grace or walking away from situations with grace with the Knight of Cups. Then we have the Knight of Pentacles, patience. Patience. It goes back to this whole Mr. Miyagi thing I was getting, okay, from the Karate Kid. Um, this is like meditation. This is being aware of your surroundings. Um, and this is about exercising patience and having patience with other people. And this, I'm talking to an Aries that I feel like your patience has run thin. And so that's why this is a reminder to be very mindful with the Four of Cups to stay in alignment and to have patience with other people. And this can even be conflict. Like say you're in the grocery store, right? Say you're in the grocery store and I'm going to tell you something that happened to me. This is just for an example. This isn't literal. Like this actually happened to me though, but I'm not saying this is going to happen to you. So I was in the grocery store yesterday and um, I had like all kinds of stuff that was just going wrong yesterday. Um, little stuff, but it was just like, you know, typical Mercury retrograde stuff. Um, but anyway, but anyway, I get into the grocery store and my fiance had um, ordered uh, a wrap for himself for me to pick up. Okay. And so I got there kind of early. So I realized what time it was and I was doing some shopping, getting some things for myself. And um, I waited about five minutes past the time. And I walked over there and there was a lady kind of like losing it on the employees. And I've worked in customer service before. So I was like, those poor employees, you know, um, but she was like all upset. And then I was just kind of standing back waiting. His rap wasn't done. Um, <laughs> and she finally comes up to me like 10 minutes later after they make their stuff. And she's like, my order was supposed to be ready at five 30. If you have an online order, you better go say something. And I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. You know, there was nobody there. And so I walked up to this guy. Um, and when I got closer to the counter, I realized there was a woman, woman back there and she was doing all the work. And this guy was just kind of not like not doing anything. And, um, she even talked like he was closer to me, but she was busy. And she even said, do you have an online order, ma'am? And I said, yes, ma'am. Um, and she said, what's the name? And I said the name. Um, and then she kept doing what she was doing and I wasn't sure if they heard me. And so I looked at him and I was like, you know, said the order name again. He looked me dead in my face, like with a straight face and walked away. So he was having a bad day and he was taking it out on me. <laughs> um, and I wasn't going to like make it worse. Cause I knew, I knew if I were to act the same as him, the situation would have escalated and that would have done nothing. It would have actually, uh, I would have lost progress. Okay. And so I just remained patient. Okay. And, um, I realized that lady was really working hard and the poor lady, she was doing everything by herself and I felt really bad for her. So of course I was like very patient with her. And so it's kind of like, what I'm trying to get, what I'm trying to say is like, whatever situation approaches you this week, try to remind yourself that there could be more going on that meets the eye for one. Um, and two, we don't allow other people who are in bad energy. We don't allow other people who are trying to spread conflict because that's what happens. Conflict is contagious. Hurt people, hurt people, right? Um, we don't try, we, we don't engage with that because when we do, it just makes situations worse and it escalates them is what I'm trying to say. I hope 
hope that made sense to you guys. But then we have the Knight of Swords. So this could be like also kind of like having patience and seeing that there could be an explanation for things, okay? Because um, the Knight of Swords does talk about like having, uh, you know, explaining something and not jumping to conclusions immediately as well. Because with the current astrology, uh, there could be like everyone is prone for misunderstandings right now with the current astrology and i feel like a big message for you is to not jump to conclusions as we as humans sometimes can okay i have another story for that <laughs> but i'm not going to get in here and tell you all my stories but um because i myself have had to check myself not to jump to conclusions here okay is it your intuition talking or you jump into a conclusion so it's really important to kind of just sit with yourself for a minute and get in touch with your intuition, know your surroundings, and really truly feel the room. Feel what's actually going on before you jump to conclusions here, Aries, okay? Because not everything we think is... Not, we, we don't believe every bad thought you have. perception wow and perception is everything okay um so i feel like that is a very big message for you is perception um not everything is as it seems from the get-go okay um and not only that this could be about changing your perception on the conflict on whoever is trying to um drag you down into their low ass energy okay um so you know perception Things are not always as they seem as well. Okay, but again, this is about you having a higher perspective, right? With that high priestess card. When you have the highest perspective in the conflict or you have the highest stance here, the highest perspective, this person who is trying to drag you into it is not going to win. Okay, this person who's trying to drag you down to their level is not going to win. So let's see, what does Aries need to surrender this week? Okay, it says surrender defensiveness. You see that? It says defensiveness is a sign of weakness. To communicate in a more empowered way, stay centered and hear someone out. Then offer a clear, non-defensive response. Wow. Sorry, I keep turning off the mic. I keep having to clear my throat. So again... Defensiveness is a sign of weakness. To communicate in a more empowered way, to communicate in a more empowered way, stay centered and hear someone out, then offer a clear, non-defensive response. That's how you maintain your power. That's how you appear to be the most powerful person in the room, the highest person in the room, the more stable person in the room. People will see you in such a mature empowered light it'll instantly shift it'll instantly shift the energy in the room when you are in alignment with yourself and not jumping to conclusions so this could be about staying quiet when something triggers you at first okay queen of wands four of cups again know what's going on around you trust your Trust your inner uh, intuition. And, and this is all about, you know, your emotions too. Like, how does something make you feel? And this is about letting it sit with yourself, okay? And, and letting whatever triggers you sit so you can actually heal what it's meant to heal. All right, Aries, those are your messages. This was meant to nourish your soul. Um, I wanted to do some different style readings this week. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments, if I keep the comments open, <laughs> what you think. I hope you guys have a fantastic day and a fantastic week. Until next time, bye.